Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. The website OpenSignal has done some great statistics and charts over how Android fragmentation looks like. This chart shows how many different Android phones that is released and downloads apps and are active at the moment. And this chart shows 18,769 different devices. That's kind of amazing. With different screen sizes, as you can see. And uh, here we have a chart over how the fragmentation looks like on iOS. As you can see, not much fragmentation at all. And here it is on Android. Different Android versions and uh, KitKat is still only on 21% of the devices. And uh, iOS 7 has 91%. Kind of amazing, really. And uh, here is a pretty cool chart over uh, different devices uh, um, by brand. And as you can see, Samsung is uh, very dominating, as you can see. As you can see, the Android fragmentation doesn't look too well. A lot of different devices, a lot of screen sizes. It uh, is very hard for app developers to optimize their apps and so on. And also, uh, some manufacturers uh, adding new uh, sensors and some of them remove sensors when a new phone comes out and so on. This makes it even harder for developers to make great apps for these different devices. So the Android fragmentation doesn't look too well. But of course it's also something positive with this Android fragmentation and that is choice. Today a new user could practically choose the phone exactly how the user wants it. And that's because all the different screen sizes, different phones, different devices, different design that Android has. So that is a very positive thing. I like this chart. It shows how crazy the Android world we live in is. And I link to this article down below in the description text. It's pretty cool to read. So do that. Okay. Bye.